Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you the quickest and easiest way how to find a coolant leak. And today we're gonna to be using a pressure tester, which is just here. And I'll show you how to get it on and how it works. And we're gonna see the leak. Let's get into it. So this is our coolant pressure tester kit. And what it does is it comes with a little manual here. It tells you all the vehicles and what cap number you will need. And once we've found the right cap for our vehicle, which is this one, we are then going to take off the coolant expansion bottle cap and we're gonna pop on the cap from the kit. And what this does, this allows us to pump up the coolant pressure system using our pump, which we're just gonna pop on now. So we take our pump, we push it onto the other end. And then what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pump the system up. Just gonna pump it up there, as you can see to the top of the green. And over time, that will go down. If it does, that means we have a leak. If it doesn't, then the, your system is okay. But we know this one has a leak because that will go down over time. And when the pump is connected and pressured up, as you can see there, it's already starting to drop. Um, if we look around all the cooling system, there's some telltale signs down here of some orange staining. And if you listen very carefully, we can hear, hear the air escaping. And what it's actually escaping from is this coolant tank. There's a tiny little pinhole down the bottom here and you can see it's just leaking onto that pipe there but the coolant level has gone down so far now that there's just air coming out just around there so what we need to do is replace this header tank and then carry out the test again and our problem should be fixed so let's get a new header tank and let's get it fitted so this vehicle is a Vauxhall Mocha and to replace the header tank we need to take this hose off and the lower hose but we also need to take the header tank off and the bolts are underneath this plastic cover so what we need to do is pop all of these plastic trim clips out with all of our plastic trim clips out. We can just lift off this front cover. That will give us access to these two 10 mil bolts here. So now we need to undo these 10 mil bolts, take these pipes off, and then replace our brand new header tank in its place. I like to suck the coolant out of the tank so we don't make too much mess when we take the pipes off. So now we have our coolant sucked out of the tank. We can then just take We take our lower pipe off, we're just going to sit it up higher than the tank itself, if we can. So it doesn't all spill out. And we can undo our two 10mm bolts 
just lift the, the old header tank off. Then we can take our new header tank, slide it on exactly how it came off. Not forgetting our clips. Just like that. So we've got our two pipes on, our two bolts back in, and that is our header tank now in place. We can take our plastic cover slides into the grill on here and then sits down over your bonnet release and then we can put all of our plastic clips back into their holes. Now we have all of our clips back in, we need to fill up our coolant reservoir. With our coolant reservoir filled up, we can then put on our pressure testing cap again. And our pump. And now we're just going to pump it up. Now that's pumped up, we're gonna leave this hooked up on here for a little while and then we're gonna check around the area to see if there's any additional leaks apart from the one we had. And I can't see any more additional leaks in this area. And as long as this pressure doesn't drop, then that's gonna be our fix. So there you have it. We haven't lost any pressure. It's now been about 45 minutes and that is a complete fix for this car. Like I say, this bit of equipment in 2024 is a must. If you have a coolant leak or anything like that, this is a really easy way to try and find that leak. If you need one of these, I have an Amazon link in the description. Go ahead, click on that and then go and find whatever tools you might need trim removal tools, clip tools, or this pressure testing kit. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.